Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing well at your place. I'm Shweta and welcome to the maths class of standard 3. I'm teaching chapter number 8 money and this is video number 4 of this chapter. In this video, we will cover two topics that is division of money and statement sums related to division of money. So, in the chapter number 5, when I was teaching you the division, that time I have told you that division is repeated subtraction. Okay? So, why we need to divide any number? Suppose, I have bought a packet of pencil. Okay? And in this packet, there are 10 pencils of this type. Okay, then I have to find out what is the cost of each pencil. Suppose the cost, the total cost of this whole packet is 90 rupees. Okay, and there are 10 pencils in this packet. So, if we have to find out that how much does one pencil cost, then we have to divide it. So, the process of division of money is similarly like that. The process of division of any other number. We have to follow the same pattern. Okay. So, should we start with division of money? Now, as you can see, I have taken here two amount. And we have to divide by the number. So, here the first question, we have to divide rupees 260.36 by 2. So, the process we have to follow as we have done in the multiplication. First, we have to arrange these amount according to the rupees and pesi column. So, first we will make rupees and pesi column. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We will write 260 because this is rupees under the column of rupees. 260. And this 36. That is after the dot. This is pesi. We have to write this pesi here. In the passive column. Okay. Now we have to divide this amount by 2. So we will write this divisor here. Okay. This is the dividend. This is the divisor. Okay. Now this is rupees column and this is passive column. We can write it here. Rupees and passive. Okay. Now, in the table of 2, in the one time only, we will get 2. So, we will write here, 2 ones are 2. Okay? Then we have to subtract this. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? Now, we have to bring this number down. 6. 2 threes are 6. In the table of 2, we will say 3 times. So, we will write here, 2 threes are 6. Again we have to subtract 6 minus 6, 0. Okay. Now we have to bring this number down. So when I was teaching division, I have told that if we have bring any number here down and this number is not divisible by the divisor, then we have to put a 0 here. Okay. Because this 0 is Less than 2. And we cannot find 0 in the table of 2. So, we will write here 0. So, this one done. Now, we have to divide the rupees section we have already divided. Now, we have to divide the passive column. 2 ones are 2. So, first we have to bring this number down here. 3. Okay. And 2 ones are 2. We will write here. Okay. Now, we have to subtract this. Okay, this number first we have to bring down here. Then we will check in the table of 2. Can we find this number 3? No, 3 we cannot find in the table of 2. So, so we will check for the smaller number. So, 2 ones are 2. After that we will subtract 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Now we will just bring this number down at this place. Now this is 16. This is not 0, this is 1 and this is 6. So, it became 16. Now, in the table of 2, can we find 16? Yes. 2 8s are 16. Okay. 
After subtraction, we will get 0. Now, here the amount is divided. Now, what we got? In the rupees section, we can see that 130 is written. And in passive section, we can see 18 is written. So, here, after doing this, we can write thus. Rupees 260.36 divide by 2 is equal to rupees 130. How much percent? 18 percent. So we will write here. This is the answer. So like this you have to solve. So just pause this video and write this example in your maths notebook. Now here we already have solved this question. Now we will solve this question. Here the amount is given rupees 738 and 60 passive. We have to divide it by 6. Okay. So under the rupees first we will write rupees 738. Okay, and under the column of passive, we will write 60. While doing the calculation, we don't need to give the dots here. Okay, because it is already mentioned that this is rupees and this is passive. Here to separate rupees and passive, we used to give the dots. Okay, now the divisor is 6. So now in the table of 6, can we find 7? No. Smaller than 7? Yes. 6 ones are 6. After subtraction, we will get 1. Now, we will bring this number down. Now, it became 13. Now, can we find 13 in the table of 2? 6 1s are 6, 6 2s are 12 and 6 3s are 18. So, we cannot find 13 number. Smaller than 13? Yes. 6 2s are 12. After subtraction, we will get 1. Now, we will bring this number down. Now, it became 18. Now, 6 3s are 18. After subtraction, we will get 0. So, this rupees section we already have divided. Now, we have to divide this passive section. So, first we will bring this number down at this place. Now, 6 1s are 6. 0. Then we will bring this number down. Now 0 is not divisible by 6. So we will just put 0 here. Okay. Now this is the answer of this second grammar question. So what we have to write? We will write thus rupees 738 dot 60 divided by 6 is equal to rupees 123 dot 10%. Okay. So, this is the answer of this question. So, hope this is clear to you now. Just pause this video and write this example also in your maths notebook. Now, we will solve a statement sum of division of money. Okay. One question I already have written here. The cost of 4 ice cream is rupees 96 and 20 passes. Like I have 4 ice cream in my hand. Okay. The cost of 4 ice cream. I have paid rupees 96 and 20 paise for all these 4 ice cream. Now we have to find out the cost of 1 ice cream. Okay. Understood? I have gone to the market and I have out 4 ice cream. I have paid rupees 96 and 20 paise to the shopkeeper. Now we have to find out that what is the cost of 1 ice cream. Okay. What is the cost of? One is thing. So, to solve this problem, again we have to do the division. So, here the first statement we will write is cost of cost of four ice cream
is equal to rupees 96 and 20 paise. Okay. This is the statement number 1. Second statement we have to write total number of ice cream. Total number of ice cream. is equal to 4. So, here we have written two statements. The first statement is cost of 4 ice cream is equal to rupees 96 and 20 paise. And the second statement is total number of ice cream is equal to 4. Now, we have arranged, we have to arrange these amount here according to rupees and paise column. So, first we will write 96 here at rupees column and second 20 in the passive column. Okay. Now the divisor is 4. We have to write here. Now 4 to the 8. Because we cannot get 9 number in table of 4. So we have taken here smaller number. Okay. 4 to the 8. After subtraction we will get 1. Now we have to bring this number down here. And then it will become 16. Okay. Now 4 for the 16. After subtraction, we will get 0. So, here you can see that already we have divided the rupees. Now, we have to divide passive. So, first we have to bring this number down at this place. This same place. Okay. Now, is this 2 is divisible by 4? No. 2 is not divisible by 4. This is smaller than 4. So, what we have to do? If we are bringing any number down and that is not divisible by the divisor, then we have to put a 0. Okay? Then again we have to bring this number down. Now this became 20. Now 20 can be find in the table of 4. Yes. 4 fives are 20. After subtraction we will get 0. Now here the calculation we have already done. Two statements we have written. We got the answer 24 rupees and 5 paise. So here we have to write the final statement. Thus, cost of each ice cream is equal to Rupees 24 dot 5 pass. Understood? Hope this is clear to you. Pause this video and write this example in your maths notebook. Now here I have taken the second question. Divide rupees 95.50 into 5 equal parts. Okay? How much is each part? Suppose I have 95 rupees and 50 paise. Like 50, 50 rupees plus 20 rupees, 70 rupees plus 20 rupees is equal to 90 rupees. So here I have 90 rupees plus 5 rupees coin and 50 paise coin. Okay. I have 95 rupees and 50 paise in my hand. And I have to distribute this money among 5 children. Okay. Among 5 person I have to distribute this money. So how much money I have to give to each person. Okay. Suppose I have 5 students with me. A, B, C, D and E. These are the names of students. So, how much money I have to give to each ch child? That we have to find out. So, to solve this problem, again we have to divide this amount by number of children. So, here first we will write the first statement that is total amount. Total Amount 
is equal to rupees 95.50. Okay? Now, how many equal parts we have to make? The, the second statement we will write total number of number of equal parts is equal to 5. Okay? Now we will arrange these amount here. Under the rupees column we will write 95. Under the passive column we will write 50. And the divisor is 5. So we will write here 5. Okay? Now, in the table of 5, can we find 9? No. But we can find smaller than 9, that is 5. So, 5 ones are 5. After subtraction, we will get 4. Now, we will just bring this number down at this place. Okay? Now, 5 nines are 45. After subtraction, we will get 0. Okay? So, here the rupees column we have divided. Now, we will divide this passive. So, first we will bring this number down at this place. Now, 5 ones are 5. After subtraction, we will get 0. Now, we have to bring this number down at this place. This number is smaller than 5. So, we will write here 0. Okay, so this is the answer we got. Okay, now in the final statement we can write thus, thus each part, is equal to rupees nineteen and ten passive. Okay. So here we have to, as I have told you, here we have to give 90 rupees and 10 paise to each children. Understood? Now just pause this video and write this example also in your maths notebook.